Good morning friends, or I guess afternoon here, but I wanted to bring you guys a Target grocery haul today. If you hear lots of noise going on, our air conditioner is on, kids are watching TV, running around. So it's a little bit crazy hectic here, but it's all right. So today when I'm filming this, it is the 4th of July. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what I got for a grocery haul and kind of give you some ideas for what I'll be using that for. I didn't get too many things, mostly like snacks and produce because next week, which subscribe if you guys want to see this, to stay tuned. We are going to be going on a little vacation to Wisconsin. So we're going to be packing like for our meals and stuff. And uh, we're going with my mom. So we're kind of like splitting meals, but I'll show you all that and how I'm going to do that. But if you guys want to see that, definitely subscribe to see that video next week. So I want to show you most of it. What I got is for salads that we're going to be going to my sister-in-law's today of what I got. But I just give you guys and show you what it is that we kind of eat for snacks here at our house um yeah so let's go here's everything that we got there's plus some baby wipes but you know it's not really a grocery item so we will start over here i got three gallons of milk i just kind of stocked up because my youngest especially he drinks milk like before his naps and stuff mainly this is kind of a snack area now obviously during the summer i don't know about you guys but we eat a lot of snacks and i feel like i always hear that word snack it's like a four letter word to me because i just i hate the word snack you guys seriously I hate it during the summer and I don't want to have like no snacks in our house, but I do try to have maybe some more not super sugary options. Um, we tend to just stick to like produce for a snack um, or like cheese or something like that. But these are kind of things that I'm okay with having. So we have these crackers with the that I like to just have. Yeah. Oh, he saw the berries. You want berries? We'll get to that, buddy. Oh my gosh, he loves berries. That. Oh. There go the strawberries. Do you want the strawberries? <laughs> Look at him, he's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here's a strawberry. Mmm, you wanna eat it? He's like, why is that green stuff? Oh, so good. So we have these round crackers. We like to just eat them. Obviously you can eat them with cheese and things too, but just plain usually for the kids. I also got one of these things of like the mini peanut butter crackers. These are great with what they like to take with us if we go out. Um, and also just for my younger one because um, he's one and a half and just sometimes some of the crackers are bigger. These are nice because they're smaller for him. So if you have little kids, I kind of recommend those for like the size wise. These are the granola bars. You guys have seen these. My husband really likes these. The kids sometimes do, um, but again, they're more sweet, but my husband tends to like these, but kind of everyone partakes of them. I don't particularly like granola bars, so it's more for them. <laughs> and then saltine crackers. You guys know these are a staple. We use these a lot with, you know, if we make tuna or with soups or anything really, sometimes even just by themselves. My younger one just likes eating them for like a cracker snack. And then I got these today. I haven't tried these. Well, I guess, oh no, maybe it is, yeah. These are just, they look just different. I have tried fig bars a long time ago and they're actually on sale at Target this week because I wanted to get some kind of bar, but one that wasn't, because like, I like that these are filled like inside, but the Target brand ones, I didn't like because they have like corn syrup in them and I didn't want high fructose corn syrup. And these, they don't have that and they're a little bit less sugar than the other ones. So if you're looking for a more healthier alternative, again, this is still a snack, but it's a little bit healthier. So I got this one, they were on sale for $2.50 each. Normally I think they're $3, so it was like a 50 cent discount. And then I got the raspberry one. So I know my kids liked those before. Turkey snacks, as usual, to the snack sticks. Then moving on to, I guess we'll go this way. So I got some just like ice cream cups. It's summer I feel like kids always are asking for ice cream. And whenever our neighbor kids and family and friends come over, we like to just have a treat. So we got the Nemo Holton one and the mint chocolate chip. Again, these were on sale too. Just check because the Market Pantry brand a lot of times for like summer, like ice cream and stuff, they tend to be on sale a lot. And then we also got some goldfish again, just to have snacks that are kind of easier to take with us and put in my backpack. But I got the pizza my son picked out and the just color ones, but regular or whatever. And now you guys know we're very much into this yogurt. I've mentioned in some of my vlogs. I get the kids one. My son, I, he could have the kids one, my younger one, but I still get the baby one because he likes the peach and like pear flavors better. And it does say up to two, so I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we do like this yogurt. The kids really like it as well. And I like that's individual. So we like those. And then 
for kind of other items here, mostly produce, we have a bag of apples. A lot of the produce that was great uh, around 4th of July, especially like it's a lot of it is on sale because you know people are getting out and all that. So there's some radishes. So I'm gonna make a salad with radishes and cucumbers and chives. It's a really easy one for today. So I'm just gonna do radishes. And then I have some avocados which will go into the shrimp salad I'm making to bring today. And then tomatoes as well, the lime, these are all for that recipe. And then some cheese sticks, of course, snack. I found this variety pack. I don't know why I never noticed, but there's like a bunch of different kinds of cheese sticks. So keep an eye and look out for that. You have not found it. This is new for me, I don't know why. But uh, the Kerrygold spreadable butter, we like this one. As you guys saw, the strawberries. The strawberries this week, I don't know if it's probably just mostly for the 4th of July, but it was buy one, get one half off. So I got some of the strawberries and some blueberries. We got some grapes as well. The red onion is also for this um, shrimp recipe. We got some bananas and then some, the big thing of raspberries. And I think that's pretty much it. But most of this, like I said, will be used for salads. Um, and I kind of show you at the end of this video some quick recipes with using that if you guys just want some ideas for entertaining because they're really easy. So, but that is everything we got for this haul. Hi everyone, so now that you've seen the haul, I want to share with you in this video two quick salad recipes that are pretty easy but they're really delicious and I feel like um, some of these ingredients you might already have on hand or if you're kind of wondering to try something new, hopefully it gives you guys some ideas. Let me flip you around and show you the first recipe. This is like a Ukrainian Russian salad that we make and it's really simple. It only has four ingredients, I guess if you don't call um, count salt and pepper and it's really easy to make so let me show you how that one works so this salad the first one I'll be sharing with you all you need is some cucumbers I might only even need one we'll see um, some radishes some chives these are from my garden and just some sour cream now all you're gonna do is cut up the radishes in smaller pieces peel um, a cucumber and cut it up and then cut up some chives as well and then mix it with sour cream and then add in salt and pepper. So that's it, so let me show you. I'm gonna quick cut these up and then show you the end result. Now I'm gonna be kinda of just talking to you as I'm cutting these. So these radishes, these are ones that I got from the store. You're just gonna cut your radish, like peel it. I'm gonna rinse them off after I cut this off. Um, but this is a great one, especially if you have radishes. Like we, we usually grow radishes, but we already have finished up with the first harvest. So if you're wondering kind of like if you have radishes in your garden, which is actually really good because radishes as I've mentioned are very fast harvesting. So if you wanted to try growing something to actually have, um, radishes is a good one. And they're really great because they're good root vegetables so you can grow them in colder environments. Um, they're just, I don't know, I mean, if some people really don't like them, but we tend to like them, I like them. And this is a great recipe to use them for um, because it's very simple, like I said, but it tastes really good. And I feel like kind of like the, it's not spicy, but it almost has kind of a little bit like a horseradish taste. The spiciness of the radish kind of goes well with the sour cream that's in there. So they kind of balance each other out as well as the chives because they're a little bit, these are um, like garlic chives, so they're a little bit more garlicky. They go well with the creamy um, taste and texture of the sour cream. So I'm just gonna cut these up and wash them and then cut them into smaller pieces. Now when you cut it, I recommend kind of thinner, smaller pieces. So I tend to cut it in half and then I will cut that half into a few more slices, like little sections. So they're kind of separated like that. And then I just cut it into kind of thin little pieces, little chunks. It doesn't have to be super thin. And just about like that. So I'm gonna do that to all the radishes now. And then we'll get to the cucumbers. So here is how this looks like now. Um, I just chopped up similar concept, cut the cucumber in half, cut it in a few sections, and then I just added it some chives. Again, you can add more or less of whatever you like. You know, if you like more cucumber, more radish, more chives, etc. And then the last step, I'm not going to do this right now because I'm going to do this um, when I get to my sister-in-law's house. But what I would recommend is save the salt and pepper 
and the sour cream or at least for sure the salt because what ends up happening is when you because cucumbers are like water a lot of water when you add the salt in it you know drains some of like that water and the juice kind of like the cream and if you do it too early it gets kind of like soggy and gross so nobody wants a soggy salad and so so what you want to do is just wait and to add the sour cream i'll just add a few spoons again depends how much salad you have your own personal preference and then just salt and pepper and you're all done and it's a really great salad it goes well along with you know any as a side pretty much anything especially if you have meat recipes it's really refreshing and just really good tasting and so that is my first salad recommendation for you guys so the second recipe and one of my favorites you guys have got to try this out i have made this a few other times before and people seem to really like it and i really like it as well it's just very like it's just fresh like summer i just think it's like a perfect summer salad anytime but especially for summer it just tastes really fresh it's a really great side next to like you know barbecue cookout whatever it just tastes really good so it is a zesty like um, cilantro and lime shrimp salad. So let me show you what are the ingredients that I will be using and then I will show you the end result. And this is from a pin. I found this a few years back and I will link the pin down below because I use that to help make it um, to obviously give credit to the blog where this is from. But you guys, this one I definitely recommend as well and it's not super hard. Once you get all the ingredients, basically you just chop everything up and put it together. The ingredients, um, I get these salad size cooked shrimp at Target. They're, the tail is off already, they're peeled and they're deveined, so everything is done for you. And then the nice smaller size, you could use you know, a jumbo if you want. I tend to like these, they're a little bit smaller, they could make sense for a salad. And then you're gonna need some red onion. If you're just gonna do the recipe as is, you don't need the whole thing. I think you'll need like a fourth of a cup. Um, and then you're gonna get off some lime, some avocado, some olive oil, a tomato, some cilantro. This is ours from our garden. And again, salt and pepper to taste. Uh, but basically what we're gonna do is start by just marinating um, the lime juice and the, we're gonna marinate the onion and like the olive oil just to kind of get it. Cause red onion, you guys know, if you've cooked with it, it's a little bit kind of like strong and bitter almost. Um, so just to kind of get a little bit of the edge off of the onion before we put it into the salad because there's no like cooking, you know, everything's just as is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that first and then I'll show you guys the next step. So here's essentially the marinade of the red onion and then there's a little bit of olive oil and then lime juice, I squeeze it out and then I'm just going to add a good amount of salt. Again, this is not the final result, you can always add in more salt and pepper, but just leave this for about 5 minutes or so just to kind of, like I said, soften like the flavor of the onion to kind of calm it down a little bit, <laughs> but to still have a little bit of that bite. And then basically now we're just going to put the shrimp. The avocado the tomato cut everything up and put it into a container so that is the second step I'm gonna quick do that and we'll get back to the last part a little tip I have for you guys if you buy the shrimp usually it's frozen in the you know the section when you buy it and if you really need to use it the day of I recommend just doing the cold water thaw like I you know just got them this morning from Target and that I don't have 24 hours to wait for these all to thaw. You just pour them into a thing, cover them with cold water, give them about 10 to 15 minutes um, and they will thaw but you just kind of leave them in there. To be honest, I don't even do the full 10 minutes. I just kind of, as I'm working, I just kind of let them just sit there for a little bit and it works really well to get that all um, thawed out and ready to go. So I'm just going to start on everything else. Also again, when you're looking for avocados, if you're doing it the day of, make sure that they're nice and soft and ready to be used because I have made the mistake of where I would buy it and it's still pretty hard and not um, ready. You want it to be obviously like nice and soft but not overly so that it's like overripe. Um, just find that nice sweet spot for it.
them. You can just use these how you know how they are. They are the salad size, but I tend to I like to cut them a little smaller. I just like that better. It's my own personal preference. So you just cut up the little shrimp and you put that into your salad. So you're gonna do that with all your shrimp or just dump it in however you decide to do it. The, um, you're basically just gonna get your shrimp in and then we're gonna pour in final step is to pour in our marinade and season it again and that's and just add our cilantro on top so I'll show you guys the end result so here's everything after I chopped up the shrimp I mixed it with avocado and tomatoes in the last step I'm just going to dump in my onion and lime, um, lime and olive oil and then I'm gonna cut up some cilantro gotta have some cilantro like that fresh taste and then just add the salt and pepper a little bit more um, and then your salad is ready to go you guys this is so good and so like I said it just tastes like summer in a salad it's just really good so I recommend this one again pin will be down below hope you guys enjoy this recipe let me know down below which one you're going to try out or if you have let me know how it goes and I will see you in my next video bye everyone Thank you.